Greetings fellow LEGO fans! Welcome back again to MC's Fly Me to the Moon uh, series and yeah, in the series I'm building the fantastic Saturn V and as you can see behind me first stage is finished and the last time I finished bag number 8 and yeah, this is how far we got and yeah you can already see who's the owner of the Saturn V, United States. Printed tiles, fantastic. Prints, oh my god. Huh. Prints for every set. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are. And now we'll continue with bag number 9. And then right up bag number 10. As it's a rather small bag, I'll just put it right into this video. So, well, let's start it. Whoa, that was a quick sort. <laughs> I guess bag number nine is the bag with the smallest variety of pieces. A huge amount of those curved slopes and yeah pretty lot of light bluish grey blades and some tan blades. Looks pretty simple. <laughs> Let's see how easy this will be. <laughs> That's our second stage after bag number 9 is finished. Oh, looks nice and smooth. As I imagined uh, before, bag number 9 wasn't the most challenging one. Uh, yeah. Again, there's a slight offset in the white tiles or some seem a bit brighter than others. Some have a, light, a slightly yellowish tint but really just so you can see it if you look really close under the right lighting. So I guess yeah. once it's on display you're fully assembled I don't think you will notice it that much at all. Um, on the first stage I tried to put yellowish on that side, white on that, yellowish here, white that, so that it will be smoothed out by the lighting and shading, but I don't think it does matter that much, so on the second stage I will just keep it as I got it, and yeah, if it pops out after it's finished, we will give it a little work over, but otherwise why invest too much time if you don't see it later on? Huh? <laughs> it's a great build. Still fantastic. Love it. And now let's directly continue with bag number 10. Here are the parts of bag number 10 and 
yeah, as you can see, it's a small bag, and by the pieces included, uh, we can already tell that with this bag uh, we will finish the second stage with the uh, nice and still very powerful J2 engines, so to say the small siblings of the really powerful F1 engines. But as the second stage is fired up later and a lot higher up, uh, you don't need that much power to overcome a Earth gravitational pull, and so the tiny ones <laughs> are really enough. <laughs> so, well, let's finish stage two. Just like we had it on the first stage, we built some of those little modules with the grill plates, tiles, modified tiles, and whatever they are called, the grills, and just put them here into that slot where the little clip is hidden and snap it into place. And here we have it. Oh, and now I guess for the other holes we'll build another module um, the other way around. Well, cool technique. That's another cool technique to get this shape done. Use some of those wedges, I think they're called, uh, for for of the sides, and the rest you make with the rounded uh, slopes <laughs> and the. Double round it, so the whole curve, and put it on hinges. And if you keep it in, you get the rather smooth, best way you can do it with Lego pieces, I think, uh, to get the shape of the rocket where it uh, get, uh, points a bit together and gets uh, slimmer. Slimmer, more slim, thinner, whatever, not this wide. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool technique again. Yeah, and here the nice J2 engines of the second stage. And yeah, uh, we'll see if you get those pieces in different colors. Could even make a bunch of flowers out of it. <laughs> yeah. But let's stay serious and technique. So let's put the engines into place where they belong. Yeah. And here we have them. Powerful enough to bring the uh, second stage with the rest of the rocket uh, further into space after leaving the first part of Earth gravitational pull with the big ones. <laughs> oh, looks kind of cute. <laughs> oh. And 
that's it for bag number 10 and oh, it's really nice what uh, we got so far and, uh, ooh, that's it for bag 10 but we should try if we can uh, join them together so here we got the plate with the bar ends and here we got plates with the clips and they should simply go together yep. and it's easy as that <laughs> holds pretty fine well you got the power of eight clips in the, uh, together so it should hold <laughs> but yep that's a big set <laughs> and after the first stage is burned out it's simply detached drops back to earth the J2 uh, engines are lit and off we go still further <laughs> yeah and that's it for this video hope you liked it hope to see you in the next one and well, see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>